Today, Kevin and I have three completely random, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to this video, just that I wanted, wanted to put these, oh, I like it. They're Kevin crunchy. always <laughs> thinks of something. They You're have right. orange, no, they won't go more in. Yeah, just crunchy. Uh, just crunchy. Three crunchy items. They're all in bags. They're all in bags. There you go. <laughs> to try for you. We have the Pop Daddy Pretzels Dutch Apple Pie Pretzel Sticks. Then we have the Pop Art Gourmet Snacks. This is Maple Sea Salt Kettle Corn. And at the Kettle Brand uh, Tailgate Edition Seven Layer Dip Potato Chips. So Kevin's Kettle Brand Chips were $4.99 at Whole Foods. The maple popcorn was $3 and the pretzels were $3.99 at the Fresh Market. So, the Fresh Market and Whole Foods. You would, I'm surprised that Whole Foods sells Kettle Brand, but they sell a lot of Kettle Brand. They have quite a few. I am too. Because yeah, quite a few of them, actually. If, if you don't know, um, the, uh, Whole Foods does not sell like Lay's potato chips. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't sell like... Ruffles. Doritos, yeah, yeah that they kind don't of stuff. sell like regular potato <laughs> chips, and so it, it honestly it surprised me too. But, when they, I saw but like those. I said, they sell a lot of them, but they're they're gluten free and stuff, so I don't know. But who knows? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. It was know. just interesting that they sell kettle brand, but they don't sell the other stuff. Yeah. Um. So Pop Daddy Pretzels, Dutch Apple Pie Pretzel Sticks. This is a limited edition flavor. Real ingredients, real good. It's a seven point five ounce bag. It says, how do we fit so much flavor in one bag? At Pop Daddy, we're all about crave-worthy, crunchy snacks that pack a punch in the flavor department. We don't shy away from zesty, different, and downright tasty. So be it popcorn or pretzels, you can count on us for a snacking experience that seriously satisfies. Uh, these are made in Howell, Michigan, and it's popdaddysnacks.com. Eight servings are in the container, 30 sticks, 28 grams is 160 calories. That's the reason I like to snack on pretzels occasionally, because they are a good lot. Um, I, we've tried Pop Daddy Snacks. Mm -hmm. We've tried their pretzels before. They sell a lot of these at Meijer. Um, and I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking this, and I might be wrong. I really might be wrong. But I was thinking that, the, that we've done a review, they're usually in black bags. But I think Kevin and Andrew did the review, and I don't know why. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I was thinking Kevin and Andrew did the last review of this. Oh, this is what's in the bag. Uh -huh. There's not a picture of a pretzel on the front of that at all. Like, oh, no. there's not. Ooh, wow. I think it's funny that it's a bag of pretzels, but if you looked at that bag and you didn't read, you would never know that was a pretzel. Okay. I like that snappy apple flavor. Okay, what kills me is um, I'm going to throw a brand under the bus right now. We did a whole review, Kroger. Mm -hmm. Kroger came out with a whole apple thing. Oh, yeah, the Harvest Apple. The one. Harvest Apple. And they had all these apple snacks. And what did they leave out of most of them? Apple. The freaking apple. Well, these... They brought the apple. Mm -hmm. I mean, my goodness, that's... It tastes like this little burst of tart, almost like a fresh apple. Yeah. And you get just a touch of cinnamon in there. It's really nice. Oh, it's delicious. I love it. Yeah, I love the those. cinnamon. I love the crisp... It's like a crisp apple, mm -hmm. I mean, flavor. And then, because you're getting that crispiness from the pretzel, and so it's just like a... It's just a burst of apple flavor. Yeah, it's really and, nice. And, and you're left with just a light cinnamon flavor. In yeah, the apple is the number one flavor, mm -hmm. but you do First thing you taste. Yeah. I, I'm very, very mm -hmm. impressed with I those. like the pretzels too. They're not those great big fat sticks. They're mm -hmm. really hard, almost like bread sticks. These are really nice size um, Yes. Sticks. Well, I tell you what, I'm, they, they like just apple. whipped Kroger all over the store because, I mean, Kroger they kicked your butt. Though. Yeah, they kicked your butt. Kroger does not compare to those. Those are awesome. Of course, these might cost a little bit more, but where do we get these? I don't care. They're worth it. Uh, the fresh market, and they were $3.99. Yeah, it's not bad. It, because it's full. It's a heavy bag. Yeah. Well, um, there's uh, eight servings of yeah. 30 sticks, which is not 30 sticks would be fine. I could live with 30 sticks. See, I'm and I'm good at doubling or, or one and a half or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just very, very impressed mm -hmm. with those. They're really good. The only bad thing is I've only seen them in our area at the Fresh Market. Yeah. So I don't know where else you can get them. 
this is the uh, Pop Art Gourmet Snacks Maple Sea Salt Kettle Corn. Gluten free. Um, be bold, be you, be art. We are Pop Art Snacks and we know how beautifully unique you are. Your courage to stand out inspires us at Pop Art to bring you delicious snacks with bold and innovative flavors. Uh, reminding all of us that when you inspire greatness in yourself, you inspire greatness in others. This is, um, it says, fall into the warm flavors of maple sea salt kettle corn and cuddle up to sweetness. There's a hug in every bag. Okay, so these are made, uh, distributed by Pop Art in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, Pop Art Snacks. It's www.popartsnacks.com. And it says there's five servings in the container. Two cups, 29 grams is 150 calories. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, it's coated. Yep. Well, it's kettle corn. I know. Well, sometimes kettle corn is not necessarily coated. Not like this, at least. So this is maple what? Sea salt. No. Oh my gosh. You need to get one that's fully coated. One of these yeah. dark ones. It tastes burnt. Mm-hmm. She likes burnt popcorn. I like burnt popcorn. I do not like burnt popcorn. That's what that tastes like. It's very scorched. That's right up my alley. Mm. I love that. It's, oh, like it's, so it's like they burnt their sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too, it's too scorched for me, and it's not really any maple flavor. No, I don't taste maple. It's just scorched, and, there's, and I don't get salt really either. No, I don't get maple, but I get a, it's, it is like a scorched sugar. Mm -hmm. And what I do like about like it too. It kept in there a little bit too long. Yeah, but I, yeah, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. What I do like about it too, if I can explain this, is it's a very compact. So it's, it's, um, it's it's not regular popcorn where it's just big and fluffy popcorn. Where they, uh, it's a smaller piece of popcorn, and it's they, really crunchy. It's really crunchy. They put that candy coating on that, so it's like you're eating a piece of candy, but mm. it's easier to eat. Um, I it does not taste like maple at all. No, I mean like none. But I love it. I and think you know what? Great. It could be the batch we got. It just depends on what your preference, yeah, what I, you like in your popcorn. If it all tastes like that, I wouldn't want to eat it again mm -hmm. because I don't like the burnt taste mm -hmm. at all. And I would buy it, I would buy it again and again, mm -hmm. and then I would know that he would not be eating any of it. I wouldn't be eating it. That'd be a me bag. No. <laughs> but I like it. So, if you've had Pop Art popcorn, let us know, um, is it all like that? Is it all like, is it little pieces like this? Is it all coated? Um Oh, I know. See, that's perfect for me. No, you eat it. I don't want it. You don't want it? It's too burnt. <laughs> I see what you mean by the, the little... Um, it's the, little. The small pieces that are mm -hmm. really, really super crunchy, and, and I would say they are full of flavor, but they're a flavor I don't want. It definitely has a scorched flavor. Yeah. Absolutely. But I like the scorched piece. It's a popcorn, so, you know, I'm just telling you, it's, I like it. Okay. Kettle brand. Tailgate edition. Seven layer dip, uh, 6.5 ounces, gluten free. Uh, let's see, what do our seven layer dip kettle cooked potato chips taste like? Creamy, savory with a hint of spice and totally delicious taste touchdown. So what is in no. this, what is in seven layer dip? What is that? Does it not tell you what it is? No. We seriously don't know what it is. My mom used to make a seven layer salad, but it wasn't a dip. I think a dip has like a bean dip and, oh. and guacamole and oh. all kinds of stuff in it. I don't know, I have never had it, but I'm um, it. why in the world would they give you something that says seven layers and not tell you what, what the seven the layers, layers are? are? Yeah. What the heck, kettle brand? <laughs> I mean, I want to know what the seven brand, uh, the seven layers yeah, are. Yeah, how about telling us something like we we shoved all seven layers of the dip. Da 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 da. Yeah, is it chip. is it tomato? I mean, is it I'm sure garlic? It's got some spices and stuff. Uh, well, it says six servings, one ounce, twenty eight grams, about thirteen chips, is one hundred forty calories. I'm gonna look at some of the ingredients because I mean, I think they should definitely tell you what's in it. Hmm. 
Okay. And here's his regular potatoes, the kettle cooked though, so they're probably crunchy. Mm. They get chili powder. A little, a little, um, is there a lom in there? Just a touch of lom? Mm. I get chili powder and lom, that's what I get out of it. Mm. Mm. Is that what all seven layer dip? See, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've I don't. I've seen it in the store. I just never bought it. I just realized that um, that we really can't tell people if it tastes like seven layer dip. All we can tell you is what it tastes like. I wouldn't tell you what it tastes like because we haven't had it. Um, We're professional YouTubers. We look stuff up. <laughs> Well, y'all would have thought it would have been on the bag. I, really I mean, give too. me a break. They should have put it on the bag. Um, it, it it tastes like chili powder to me too. Yeah, but Do you I get that love little chili lime, powder. Yes, lime, or there's something citrusy in there. I don't know. No, what it, it does come across as lime. But I don't know if it's the, good lime, but that's if what, it's a guacamole, uh -huh. that usually has a lime. Uh, okay. Well, I like it, but I like chili powder, mm -hmm. and to me, it, it it's, it's not mostly chili powder. It doesn't like um, burn or anything like no. that. Um, let me see if potatoes is the number one ingredient. The, the texture of the chicken really so. nice too. It says it, so the, the spices include uh, chili, jalapeno, red pepper. It has tomato powder. It has sour cream. I was going to say sour cream. Onion yeah. powder, cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. black beans is almost at I the very, very end. And then it, at the, the very last ingredient says avocado pulp solids. Yeah. I thought it had guacamole and bean. I, I knew those two, but I, I knew that sour cream was probably involved somewhere. Mm -hmm. Probably some onions. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, I, I love it. I, I think these are delicious chips. Mm -hmm. And I have a really, I'm really, really bad um, that when I look in a bag like this, I see all the foldovers. So I will keep eating literally until all the foldovers are gone uh, it, to start working on the rest. It, because these are so good. And they are you just want to eat more and more. It's not just pure like chili powder no. either. That's the main flavor, but there's other flavors like backing it up. And but I don't get yeah. a beany flavor. No, I don't get beans. I don't get. I know that's one, that. that's one level of the dip, but I, I don't get a bean like flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing, you know. Uh, you don't want a refried bean flavor in this. And do you dip think dip. seven layer dip? Okay, so are people eating that with a with a tortilla chip? I, I would think. Or because a tortilla, chip, it seems like you'd eat it with a tortilla chip because they're sturdy. Sure. Yeah, it'd be hard to do. Are those in. scoops? Those we yeah. love the Tostito scoops. I would think so. Scoop it up. It'd in be there. hard to eat that in a potato chip. But I would not want avocado. Well, I do not like avocado normally. Uh, um, guacamole's not bad. It's got some seasonings and stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I would rather have this. This is less trouble and this is less expensive than trying to make your own because I know right now somebody's going to say, you should make it for the channel. They, I guarantee uh, you these chips are are cheaper than me trying to make you can, it. You can buy it in a tub mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, I would just as soon have these chips. It's just easier, I'm yeah. telling you. Um, I really, I... It, this was a great review, I think, because as far as I'm concerned, Everyone all three of these winners, huh? are winners for me. Yeah, I, I liked all of them except the kettle corn. Honestly, the kettle corn was just, it just tasted burnt. I mean, it's like, I don't want to eat them burnt. Um, out of the ones, I think I'd probably eat the pretzel out of it. That would be my number one. Oh, that's your number one. Mm -hmm. And I know this is going to be your number, number two, two because I you did those. not like these. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to go... Oh, it's such a tough choice because you're talking about chili and uh, but different flavors, potato chips versus kettle corn. These are going to be my third choice, even though they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Somebody's got to come in last. And I'm not going to pick a whole apple. I, I, I'm not an apple lover like Kevin. I, um, I do love, love them, though. I mean, I love the job that they did. Um, yeah, they did an excellent job. It's hard for me to choose. I mean, I, I'm splitting hairs for me. I'll pick the kettle corn, but then I'll pick the, these are literally an inch behind because I just, I love them too. So any of these that you can get, if the flavors sound interesting to you, go for it because you, you're you not wasting your money on mm -hmm. any of them. No, they're all really good. Really, really good. I mean, they, they, they didn't, I, I won't say they're all really good. The, the popcorn is not really good because it doesn't taste anything like maple and it really doesn't have sea salt. 
it does have a good flavor for you, but it doesn't for, for, me. for me. So they don't think they did a great job on this. This is for a very specific crowd. Yeah. And it, you have to, you, yeah, just. You have to like that burnt sugar flavor. Yes, exactly. But for people like me, yeah, you're going to like that. Mm -hmm. So I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.